Hello everyone, I'm Autobot Salonka Telltale Gamer, bringing you something Telltale Games, Transformers, and more. So, first off, I'd like to wish everyone a happy new year. We are now, we made it through 2018, we are now in 2019, and for any of you, I hope you all had um, happy holidays as well, just before I start this video. So, anyway, yeah, this video, I'm basically going to be talking about um, my plans for this channel going forward through for this year and for the foreseeable future, since I've seen a lot of I other fellow YouTubers that I follow with um, doing the same thing. So, first off, I'd like to apologize for the lack of again. I know, like, I'm I'm been taking like these like week to like nearly week two week breaks in between videos, and honestly, it's just that I thought that winter break would be a lot less hectic than do getting dirt finals were and college, but just this t just right now, it's been a very very hectic around my home so I haven't been really get, get, been able to make any videos really and I apologize for that but I, that's, that's one thing I want to address in this video so starting starting when I go back to college I'm well I'm gonna tr definitely try to get some more videos out before um, my break ends in about two weeks um, I'm definitely gonna be doing a reaction to whatever Skybound Games is doing for The Walking Dead on the 7th that I'm really looking forward to um, but other than that yes, yeah, so I'm going to be more consistent, with, try and be more consistent with my uploads this year. Definitely going to at minimum have at least one video a week. That's the that's the minimum I'm saying for myself. I would like to have at least like one video, like three videos a week. One for like Monday, one for Wednesday, one for Friday, and then maybe if I have time, one for Sunday as well. That's what I would like to see happen. And then maybe during that would be like main videos. But then when I'm doing let's plays try to get one vi part of Let's Play done every single day, but then have, like, main video, like, other videos than that on every, like, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's, uh, I'll probably, like, put, like, a, a community post or something, like, detailing my final schedule when I get this together, but that's gonna be it for the foreseeable future. On top of that, I'd also like to discuss what the contents for my channel is gonna be going forward. Now, I know much of you, say, like, see that I'm, I, I protect myself as Autobot Sonic, the Telltale Gamer, but now that Telltale's gone, and with The Walking Dead, the final season ending in the next couple months, I'm um, some of you might be wondering how I'm going to keep doing Telltale content. And for people who are concerned what my channel's going to do in the future, first off, um, for my Transformers fans, I'm still continuing with my Cyberverse reviews. I know season one has just wrapped up, but I'm going. I still got to do on my reviews for episodes 13 through 18. I've got the episode 13 review done and that should be up within the next couple days and then I'll just be working on episodes 14 through 18. After that's done I'll probably go back to finishing my reviews of Robots in the Skies Combiner Force which was the final season of Robots in the Skies. I stopped at episode 12 but I still had to do episodes 13 through 26 of that so I've got quite a lot of work to me to do there. Um, back to anyway back to the Telltale stuff so currently I have yet to do my let's plays of the Batman and Telltale series season 1 episode 5 and all of Batman the Enemy Within. I have all of that recorded but as I put in a community post earlier this month um, or back in December I should say I accidentally the SD card that has all of my audio like commentary for the for Batman season 1 episode 5 I left that back at my campus so while I can like work on all my Enemy Within videos and get them all like uploaded um, get them all done to be put on a schedule I won't be able to release that until I get back to school and up finish uploading my Batman Until the Series Season 1 Episode 5 gameplay. So, after the, besides from that, I'm, def I'm going to be doing also, of course, do my Let's Plays of The Walking Dead, the final season, Episodes 3 and 4. Um, I'll try to fin- I think my Let's Play of Episode 4, the final season, is going to be my last Telltale Let's Play. So, even if Batman The Enemy Within Let's Play isn't done on the channel by then, I'm not going to be uploading my Let's Play of Episode 4 until Enemy Within is done, which I am I know that some of you guys may have problems with that seeing that because you guys want to see my reaction, how Clementine's story ends, but hopefully maybe th this will all come to, pe maybe um, things will work out and I'll be able to get it done before Episode 4 comes out, but in the event that I'm unable to finish my Enemy Within Let's Play before Episode 4 of the what Final Season comes out, 
I ask you all to just please be patient with me as I get this, as I finish the anime thing, because I want to get to the final season as much as you do. Like, I'll have already played it and recorded it, but I just can't show my reaction to you all guys until I finish my enemy within let's play because in my opinion to have the enemy within be my last telltale let's play uh, that just doesn't sit right with me i feel like it should end with the final season anyway on top of that i know i have um still to finish my let's play of episode one of life is strange 2 because episode two is coming out in three weeks i have to um i'm deaf that's another thing i'm going to be doing an analysis of a bunch of screenshots that don't nod tweeted out for life is strange 2 episode 2 soon i'll be getting on that and so but other than that, though, so the main question I bet a lot of you are having is what Telltale content am I going to do once I finish The Walking Dead the final season? Because Telltale's not making any more games. They ca I can't do any more Let's Plays on their games. I mean, unless you guys would like to see me go back and maybe, like, do a Let's Play of The Walking Dead Seasons 1 and 2, Tales from the Borderlands. Um, I know I've done, I've done Let's Plays Episodes 3 through 5 of Tales from the Borderlands, but I never did Episodes 1 and 2. I could maybe do, like, a... In, retro, like, in retrospect, let's play of The Walking Dead Seasons 1 and 2, Tales in the Borderlands, and The Wolf Among Us. And I never actually finished Game of Thrones as well. I only played through episodes 5 and 6 on my channel as well. So I, I could go through all the classic Telltale games if you guys wanted me to. But what I had in mind is that if you... For any who remember before I rebranded as Autobot Sonic, I, I know I put it in my intro all the time that I do countdowns. I haven't done a single countdown for, I want to say, maybe two years. I've, it's been two years since I've done a top 10 video, and I want to get back to making those. So that's what I'll be doing with Telltale Gun. I'll be doing a lot more top 10s. I've got a lot of top 10 ideas in the future, actually. I've got, um, uh, I've got, like, top, well, I've got the, the obvious one, my favorite top 10 Telltale games of all time. That one I'm definitely going to be doing. There, I have, um, top 10, like, finale, final episodes of Telltale games. I've got ideas for, like, top 10 main characters in Telltale games. Just a, a lot of top 10 videos in that. And those won't, those top 10, those countdown videos, they won't be restricted to just Telltale games. I'll be, sh also be doing them with Transformers content as well. So for all my Transformers fans, you can be sure to do stuff as well. Also, as far as reviews go, um, I'm also, once Cyberverse is over, I'm going to be doing, um, Robots in the Skies finish my Robots in the Skies, um, season three reviews, and then after that, I may do, I'll probably eventually go back to do season one of Robots in the Skies, but at the same time, I may also want to work on my reviews of Transformers Animated, because I did my review of the, the pilot episode, ba um, about, uh, two years ago, and that was very well received, so, to have, um, I may go back and do, just do that, because, um, but I'm not quite sure if I want to do that, because, Coming in March, IEW is actually launching their reboot of the Transformers, their Transformers comics. So I definitely I want to do reviews of that. Start doing comic reviews, but at the same time, I want to do um I definitely gonna do reviews of the IDW reboot. But I also like to do reviews of the um the classic IEW series that ran from um 2005 to last year. That series I, I that's probably one of my favorite continuities of Transformers, and I really want to review that at some point. I'll pro probably maybe do because the issues of the tra the IDW reboot they're planning to come out with two issues per month. So maybe on the off time between those issue releases, I'll do maybe like a couple issue couple reviews of the the original IDW continuity that they did for, uh, last year. So that's as far as reviews go, and pretty much where I see my channel taking place in the future as far as reviews and let's plays go as far as let's actually as i just mentioned as far as let's plays go um with telltale gone i'm really um at, I'm, I'm obviously going to be doing life is strange 2 let's play that'll be my main let's play on the channel for the foreseeable future until that game wraps up but i'd like to um i'd honestly like to focus my let's plays if i'm doing any let's plays on more narrative focused games so in the past you may have seen me do games such as oxen free and firewatch even though i never got around to finishing firewatch on a channel i finished it myself but the more I went on with it, I just, um, I didn't think it would be a good game to Let's Play, so I, I just ended up scrapping it, but if there are any games that you think have a great story and that I will enjoy, feel free to leave me suggestions, um, in the comments of my, of this video, or even any, com I may put, like, a, a community post, I even, I made a post poll on Twitter a couple months after Life is Change Before Storm ended, asking, like, from a list of games, what do you want me to do? Like, I could finish my Let's Play of Oxen Free. I could play Night in the Woods. There's this one game I saw called um, 2048, which is like a text adventure game. Send like like a kind of like a Deus Ex-inspired world. It's really cool. It has a lot of 
Telltale alum, with Melissa Hutcherson's in it, Erin Yvette and Dave Fenoy are in it as well. It looks really cool to me, and I really want to play that. Um, but so, for any of you guys have any ideas, I'll probably create a community post poll for where you guys can suggest ideas to me if, if you want to do any narrative stuff like that. Um, of course, and I also said I'm also willing to do Let's Plays of old Telltale games such as like The Wolf Among Us or Seasons 1 and 2 of The Walking Dead and so on. And finally, I'd like to talk about just expanding my channel forward in the sense of that I would be branching out instead of doing more than just tr um, Telltale, or Telltale or I guess I can't really say Telltale now, Telltale and Transformers content. Um, well, actually, before we do that, I want to talk more about Telltale for a moment. I talked about how Telltale, with Telltale, I'm going to be doing those top 10 videos. But I'd also like to do, um, if you guys remember, like a couple years ago, I posted these character and voice actor videos, which um, was inspired by um, Teddy K Gaming and the Generation West. They're these two, like, bigger YouTubers than me that they cover, like, the voice actors of various video games, TV shows, and, like, animated films and cartoons and such. Um, I inspired... Did my character and voice actors of Minecraft Storm with Season 1 based off of their videos. So, I would love to do that for some stuff they didn't cover, like The Walking Dead, um, uh, not The Walking Dead, Batman, a Telltale Series Season 1. And I'd like to do, um, other videos like that. I would like to do, I want to do maybe, like, Telltale voice actors and other things. So, maybe, like, I would show Melissa Hutchison, like, in all her roles and all of the Telltale games. Then maybe, like, put, like, two or three roles she's had outside Telltale for any of you who like didn't like are looking for like other games she might have been in and I feel like that'd be a good way to kind of advertise other games so maybe like hey if you liked with Hutchins role as Clementine the Walking Dead you should check her out as this character in this game and or so on that's what I hope to achieve with these series and of course I'd like to do the characters and voice actors for other things other than just telltale games um I'm also planning to do it for um Robots in the Skies, I actually, I've been advertising it a lot in my characters and voice actors videos, but I never got around to doing it. I'm definitely going to do that, and then do it for Cyberverse as well, and then maybe doing it for some other stuff down the line. Now, anyway, so enough of Telltale, I want to talk back to what I also said about just other content going forward. I'm going to be do. I want to be doing more um, as I'm reaching the end of my tenure as a college student. I've only got about three semesters left of college before I graduate and so I want to start shifting my channel also in a more professional manner so that I can kind of create it as a portfolio of my desires to work in the media and like film and writing industry so expect to see more of like um my, if you remember my fan trailers that I've created the last one I did was of a final season fan trailer right before episode one came out expect to see a lot more of those in the future just kind of like edit like edit or fan trailer projects that I just want to do in my free time to build up my like resume or portfolio if you so want to call it that I also may be putting up like um and maybe like some some like short scripts like through community posts that you guys can comment on and give me suggestions for ideas if you want to um honestly this may be the wrong place to ask for it but who knows it, anything can happen on YouTube if <laughs> um but anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to talk about going forward with my channel. As for when I will resume uploads, um, don't worry. I'll probably, like, as I said, my next video back will probably be in a, like a two or three days from now when I finish my review of Transformers Cyberverse Season 1, Episode 13, Matrix of Leadership. After that, I'll definitely be doing a video talking about whatever Skybound Games has planned to announce on the 7th. And then hopefully try to finish season one of cyberverse before i go back to college and by that time i'll be doing my let's play of the walking dead the final season episode three as well as my let's finish my let's play of life is strange 2 episode one and batman a total series season one episode five so uh thank you all for listening to this longer than i expected channel update video and um so yeah yeah i hope you all are okay with these changes and decisions i'm making my channel going forward it's it's pretty much gonna be the same channel um Though I may make some changes, like as you saw my channel intro that I've been using for the past um, two years, I'm tempted to change that at some maybe for this year. Just maybe. If you guys, I've t I've put some like ideas together for what I wanted to do for maybe a different channel trailer, um, and m maybe well not channel trailer, channel intro. I actually really do need to put together a channel trailer too. I'm definitely gonna get that up within the next by the end of the month too. So uh, yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little rambling of mine talking about my channel update it was kind of more of a ramble than anything but hope you all enjoyed it nonetheless so I'll, if you if you like this video be sure to like comment and of course subscribe and i will see you guys later